Hi there. If you ever experience page not found error on your website, if yes, then this video is for you. If you are migrating from WordPress Squarespace to Webflow, or if you are changing the URL of your website, then this video is for you because when you migrate your website or change the URL of your website or any pages of your website, then sometimes your page won't be found by Google right and it will affect your SEO too so if you want to learn how to resolve that error that you see on your page I this video will definitely help you out so stick around welcome back my name is Ashok and I'm from India I'm a webflow certified expert and have helped so many agencies and companies to build their website from scratch and migrating their website from WordPress to Webflow. So uh, this video I have made purely for those who are migrating, who are facing this page not found error and that is also affecting their SEO scores on Google, right? So how, how will we tackle this problem? So in this video, I'm going to discuss few things with you. So I have took some notes on my phone, so I'm going to look at my phone. So pardon me for that one. I'm not going to create that PPT thing now because it's very old school thing these days, right? So we will cover what is 301 redirect, then when you should use 301 redirect in your website and SEO benefits of 301 redirect. At the end, at the end I'm going to perform the SEO 301 redirect in your webflow website, right? And it will also help you out with your SEO. So stick around. So let's start with the first point. What is 301 redirect, right? So when someone visits your website or the page of your website, they might encounter this error code page not found. And I think that's a bad experience for your website users, right? They would, they would think that these people don't know about the websites then it will leave the bad impact of your business on, on, your, on the user who is looking at your website right now, right? So, at the time when someone visits your website, you need to change the URL structure. You need to add 301 redirect to that new page that you have created, right? Let's say you have an old page and a new page, right? The old page content was different on WordPress and you are building a new page on Webflow now. So in the Webflow, the URL will be different, but in the previous WordPress website, you had this Google search console was crawling your website. At that time, Google had your old URL, let's say your domain name.com slash about us, right? But in Webflow, you are creating a new page called About Me. So now your uh, URL will be romanname.com slash about me. So uh, earlier it was about us and now it's about me. So how will Google find the URL? If someone clicks on Google search pages, uh, your website name slash about us, then they would go to your website, right? With that URL. But that URL does not exist, that page does not exist there. That's why your website status would, uh, the response from your browser would be 404, the page not found code, right? And that's not good because you already have a page and you are, uh, your users are facing that error and I think it's not good for your business, right? So, so in that case, you can, uh, uh, we can use 301 redirect in your website. So you can add that in, very easily in Webflow in just few steps, right? In just few steps, you don't need any coding requirements. You just need to add your pages there and it will be done, right? So this is uh, what 301 redirect is. It's like you are changing anything to your website and user is experiencing that page, page is not found or this kind of errors, then you must take a look at 301 redirect at that time of your website. Right, let's uh, move on to the next uh, point of our website. Uh, when you should use 301 redirect of your, uh, in your website, right? So, there are many uh, ways where you can use uh, 301 redirect in your website. 
first i would say migrating website when you are migrating your wordpress squarespace or wix website to webflow right at that time you must make sure that your high ranking pages or the url structure of a website matches with the old website so that when someone visits your website you don't get that page not found error right so in this in that case if you are migrating your website then you make sure you add all the page 301 redirects if you have a blog system then make sure if you import your blog properly then you won't get those error but if you're creating a new blog of your, on top of your old blog right with a new url then you must uh, add that as a as a 301 redirect in your website otherwise you will lose your traffic and also seo score on google right so that was the first case that where we can use uh, uh, a 301 redirect and now uh, let's say you change the, the second thing where you can use is you are changing the url of your website whether it's a whole domain name, whether it's a page name, anything. If you are changing that, then you must add 301 redirect. Other, otherwise, you will get that error that I have discussed earlier, right? So, when you are creating a new page, Webflow will ask you, are you uh, want to add 301 redirect or not, right? For that one, the, the, the tick mark will be there in the bottom when you are creating a page. Right. If you don't get, then you can add that uh, directly into your SEO settings or publishing settings of your of your Webflow website. Right. So that was the second case. And third one is you are uh, adding this SSL certificate. Right. Common websites are HTTP, but if you are adding SSL certificate, then it will be HTTPS. Right. So for this HTTPS, many of the websites were on HTTP. Now they are adding these SSL certificates. In Webflow, Webflow automatically adds SSL certificate. But if you want to add your custom SSL certificate, then you must add 301 redirect to your website. Right. Otherwise, you will get an error, your whole domain error. Right. So I think it's not a good experience for your users and not for your business because it won't uh, Google won't uh, rank you high compared to your competitors because they are taking care of all those things and you are not. Right. Then it, it is affecting your business, uh, business's online presence. Right. So uh, I would uh, highly recommend you check out your 301 redirects. If you are facing any kind of issues that I have mentioned, right? So okay, so that's done. So now let's talk about the the benefits of doing uh, this 301 redirect, right? So there are many. It's help you in page ranking. How? So Google uh, always search crowds, right? The pages from your website and any page returns these 401 errors and they are not working properly they will degrade your page ranking from google page search pages right so i think it will help you in your page ranking so if you really want to rank higher in your local business or national or international business right then you must add that 301 redirect if you need otherwise it's fine but if you need in the future then you can use 301 redirect in that case Right. So I think the the second one I would say the user experience. Right. I think user experience is the most thing that your user can experience when visit your website. Let's say if I come to your website and I whatever I'm looking for, I'm I'm look I'm looking to read this blog of your website and I don't find that blog on your website. It just said page not found. Then what what would your user do? right they, they won't return back to your website again if they find it on google search pages or anywhere they would think that this page uh, this website is not proper right not properly done they are not properly managing the website they are not i i did not get what i was looking for when i visited the website right so it, it leaves bad impact on the users so i i would say you must check out when you are uh, adding your 301 redirect on your website right 
so uh, those were the points that uh, i uh, wanted to cover the benefits what is the one redirect uh, and uh, how to do it and its benefits uh, for seo and now let's talk about how to do 301 redirect right so okay it's a uh, demo time now so if you want to add 301 redirect in your website then this is how you can do it once you need to log into your account your webflow account and you must have a paid plan or the hosting either it could be cms or the simple hosting but you must have hosting right so now you will look at your website like this this is our website company website so you will website like this and now what you need to do you need to create on these three dots and click on the settings once you hit the settings you will see something like this uh, i have this uh, agency plan so our, our looks like this otherwise you need to look at your publishing one right where you can do that also if you for this one you can check out all these things here you have your plans and you have 301 redirects right so this is where you can see i have my hosting but you can go to your publishing and as you scroll down you will get here to 301 redirects where you can see this you can read also about 301 redirects how you can do it right so this is your old path let's say as i said your old path was about us right now your new path is about me so this is your new path once you add this whenever someone visits your website they would go if they click on this path they would go to this path because you are re redirecting them to this part about me from about us right so this is what we have done also when we had a website so this is what we have done for our website right we have added uh, 301s because this is necessary for your website and for your best experience of your website right so yeah it was easy pretty easy it just takes one minute not even one minute 30 seconds to add this kind of url you just need to add this kind of urls right not only that one you just need to add the page name that's that's what you need to do about us right and a new page name the where you want to redirect your users to right let's say you had this page and you don't have about us page anymore then what you can do you can uh, re redirect them to your main page of your website the home page that uh, that is what it is written here http colon .com, right so this is what you can do for a website so yeah this is how you can do it and if you're looking to do it yourself then you can do it otherwise if you need any kind of help then you can reach out to me hey how was it I hope you loved the video and you got the information that requires for your website and websites SEO, right? 301 redirect is purely for SEO. And you if you add that one, then your website performance and experience will increase and you will see the difference on your search rankings also, right? So if you have done it and it really helped you this video, then please give it a thumbs up, like my video and share my channel with your friends who are also doing in web development they are also using webflow for the business websites right so i think they can get some help from this uh, video right so uh, i'll i'll create more videos like this for you so that you can implement in your business website and you can rank higher on google right so bye bye for now and see you in the next video Bye.